In today's video, we're going to talk about the future of page builders now that WordPress 5 and the Gutenberg editor is now out. Today's episode is made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. And if you'd like to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a website mastery course. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is to click the link below this video and enroll for that course. So before we begin, I have a disclaimer. All the views that I'm going to express in this video are purely my opinions. So this is not backed by any company or supported by any company. All right, so now with that said, let's continue. So uh, I've been playing around with Gutenberg and to be honest, it looks more like a page builder. It has things like drag and drop. It also has shortcuts. You can clone modules and you can also export and import page layouts. So this sounds familiar because this is what we can do with Divi or some of the page builders out there. So it got me thinking that actually this is pretty much a page builder. So listening to the state of the word, um, I also gathered a few more things from that. And that is the theme itself, although currently it's not really customizable, WordPress is actually looking at changing that theme and make it more customizable by using the same sort of idea that they have in Gutenberg where you can drag and drop blocks into place to build your header and your footer. So this eventually is going to be a fully fledged theme and page builder, which means now they're competing with companies like Divi, which has a page builder and also the, um, the, the modules. So if you were to compare the two, the blocks are pretty much modules in Divi. So then the question is, so what's going to happen? Because now we have WordPress having its own way of doing things. And now we also have Divi here. So why would one choose one over the other? And this all comes down to preference. Now, first of all, if you look at WordPress, they are still in, its, in the initial stages of their page builder and also the theme builder. Now, if you look at um, the other page builders out there, they are really advanced. I mean, they are way out there. In fact, there's quite a few things that you, you definitely cannot do right now. I'm not saying this will be how it is moving forward. This may change with time, but you can't do basic stuff like padding and also adding sections or even rows. So this is the state of how things are at the moment. But of course, with time, things will change. So by the time WordPress actually catches up with uh, the page builders right now, I think it's going to take a bit of time. And while that is happening, I'm sure the page builders will also be improving going forward. So there will always be that gap. And also the fact that WordPress has developers that will be contributing to this main core it's every, everything's going to be everywhere. So it's going to be quite confusing and you have to really know which developers to go with that are supplying whatever block it is they're supplying. So to me, it's going to become more like how things are with uh, the plugins at the moment. There are you know, a ton of plugins, but eventually you'll have to go to those plugins that are well supported and work really well. So that's what I see happening with just the pure Gutenberg and WordPress so, uh, option. So when it comes to page builders, uh, I can see page builders really providing more than just the page builder. So things like support and also more features and a unique design workflow. So this is what is going to differentiate Gutenberg from page builders. And also page builders now because they're way advanced and they do a much better job. And of course, because they've been doing this for a very long time, this now becomes the direction that serious designers go to. Because over here on Gutenberg, there's going to be a lot of um, third party developers, you know, adding all these blocks onto that system. And the support is going to be all over the place. You can try and imagine, let's say there's a developer that has produced maybe a way to provide sections they will be providing the support for that. So you'd have to go to their website and if things go wrong, that's where you'll be going. And let's say there's another developer that has produced a block, which does to something totally different. Then you have to go to that company for that support. But with page builders, all you have to do is to go to the same central place. So I can see 
serious des uh, designers and developers actually using page builders. So there is going to be that divide. But for those uh, guys who are just coming straight in and just want a basic website, it's entry level, of course, you know, they are most likely going to go with just the normal WordPress because the standard stuff which WordPress brings, it's enough to have a basic website. So I can see page builders now becoming more of a an advanced platform to use for designing websites. If we take a look at Gutenberg so far, in fact, my views are compared to how things were before with a tiny MCE editor, this is a massive shift. I mean, now you can actually design websites that <laughs> web pages that actually make sense because before it was quite difficult to really structure your page. So it's a massive improvement and this is definitely going to take some market share from page builders. So this is where I think page builders now are going to actually add more value to whatever it is they're providing right now at the moment. And also what could happen as well is these page builders that we currently have, they could actually take the option of creating blocks to work in the existing Gutenberg, which again will be a big plus because these blocks will be supplied by a company that is well known and a company that has great support. Do I think Gutenberg is going to kill the page builders? Absolutely not, because as I mentioned before, the current page builders are way more advanced, so they just have to add more features, more value, greater support, whereas with Gutenberg, they will continue to get uh, more blocks, but they can't be really compared to what we have right now on the market. So the way I look at this is, you want to build a website? Yes, you can use both platforms, but it depends how serious you are with the craft of building websites. Because of course, like for example, with um, Divi, it has color management and algorithms that help you to choose professional looking colors. So that in itself is a unique thing. Whereas in Gutenberg, you have to be a designer that really knows or understands color right from the get-go. And also, if we take a look at fonts, uh, on the Gutenberg side of things, it's quite difficult to, out of the box, get the fonts that you want to use, even with the previews, or even use the Google fonts that are out there. You'd have to use a theme like Astra, for example. That's how you're going to start using fonts in there. So these are essential design elements that are needed in a theme to enable it to work well. And I've just scratched the surface here because there are way more things which are in uh, page builders today, uh, especially Divi, that, that are far superior to what we have with Gutenberg. And as I said, these are my opinions. I'd like to hear your opinions. So at the end of the day, uh, it's about the analogy that I can give is about cars. If you take a VW Golf, it'll take you from point A to point B. If you take a look at the Bentley, it'll still take you to point A and point B, but it depends how you want to travel. If you want to travel in style and uh, you want ease of use, safety, and all that kind of stuff, you'll probably go with the Bentley. It's more expensive, but if you just want a car that will take you from point A to point B, you know, you can just use VW Golf, but it doesn't mean that VW Golf is a bad car. It just means that it's a preference. How do you want to travel? Do you want to travel in comfort or you just don't really mind that? So that's the analogy that I can give with me, I would rather stay with the Bentley, which is, you know, Divi, the page builder, because I have more options and there's a lot more things I can play around with, even things like dynamic content and all these other features that will be coming out soon, which I know will take years to come on the Gutenberg side of things, even though the platform is open to developers. So these are my opinions. I'd like to know what you think. What do you think is the future of page builders? Uh, what direction do you think the Gutenberg editor is taking and also WordPress 5? Let me know in the comments box below and uh, it'll be quite interesting to hear your views as well. All right, so that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.